We have some breaking news here on the Chiefs Report. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. As you can tell, I'm not in studio. I am at my house. The lighting's not the best. The audio is probably not great, but I wanted to bring you guys this breaking news as soon as possible. Uh, instead of spreading to the studio, instead of waking up a producer, I just said, you know what? I'm just going to film this at home, see how you guys like this. Let me know if you're okay with this at home setup uh, in the comments. If, if you hate it, tell me that you hate it. If you like it, tell me that you like it. Um, the news is that the Chiefs have traded offensive lineman, yes, sir, Durant to the New England Patriots for a 2022 seventh round pick. He was a uh, undrafted free agent just last year. And so this is pretty interesting on numerous levels. Number one, this tells me that Durant was not going to make the Chiefs roster. So, Brett Beach, being the good GM that he is, uh, gets a pick out of him. Seventh round pick, you never know what that could turn into. Uh, he would have been a prime candidate to uh, join on the practice squad after uh, being on the roster a year ago. But what have we talked about a lot here on the Kansas City Chiefs report? That Brett Beach revamp this offensive line this offseason. And that's not just with the starters. That's with the depth pieces as well. I mean, this offensive line goes 10, 11, 12 deep. And yes, sir, Durant was a part of that. And now he's not because it's a numbers game. He simply was not going to make the 53-man roster. So Brett Veach punts, gets a seventh-round pick for him, and all is good at the end of the day. He'll probably make the Patriots 53-man roster, so good for Durant to latch on with the team. Uh, and he can play for this year and uh, have a chance uh, to build his career there. And for the Chiefs, uh, you get a pick for him. So I think it's a win-win situation. Uh, who do you guys think wins the trade? Type KC for the Kansas City Chiefs. Type NE for the New England Patriots down in the comments. Let me know. I'm curious what you guys uh, think. I think it's a win-win for both sides. Uh, Patriots uh, needed to uh, get a depth offensive lineman. Uh, and uh, Kansas City trades a player that wasn't going to make their team. So I think both teams could win. You could type B for both as well. This is why you subscribe, by the way. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. Whether we're at home, whether we're in the studio, we're breaking down the latest Chiefs news, rumors, and a whole lot more for you guys. It's been a busy day. Had a, a bunch of Chiefs roster cut, cuts earlier today. After you subscribe, go check that video out. A lot of you guys have already. Uh, keep an eye on uh, who all the Chiefs have already cut. Now they've traded the yes Durant. So they get closer and closer to the 53-man roster, which, by the way, we will break down here on the channel uh, tomorrow, uh, depending on your you're watching. This could be today, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, that uh, video will be up once the 53-man roster is finalized. So go ahead and subscribe and make sure uh, you don't miss that video uh, once that drops. So yes, sir, Durant hands to heads to excuse me the New England Patriots for a seventh round pick in next year's draft. Like I said, win-win. I think it's good for both parties. He wasn't going to make it. Why was he not going to make this roster? Okay, let's just break it down. And I did my Chiefs roster projection. You can check that out as well. Uh, I didn't have Durant making it because think about the offensive lineman you have. You got the starting five from left to right. Orlando Brown, left tackle. Joe Tooney, left guard. Creed Humphrey is going to start at center. Uh, Trey Smith at right guard. Lucas Niang at right tackle. All locks, obviously. Mike Rimmers makes number six. Uh, I think Nick Allegretti is safe. That's number seven. Uh, Austin Blythe, I think, will make the roster as a backup center. I think he was a sneaky cut candidate, but I think he's safe now. He's been a little bit banged up. Um, you've got Laurent Duvernay, Tardif, Andrew Wiley. That's kind of 10 right there. There's been some chatter. Maybe LVT or Wiley could be on the trade block, but now that you've traded Durant, maybe those two are safe. We'll have to wait and see. Kyle Long probably starts the season on the pup list, which means he'll miss the first six games. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll wait and see what happens there. Uh, the Chiefs already cut uh, Daryl Williams. That's not the running back. Uh, that's offensive lineman, D-A-R-R-Y-L. Cut him later today. He was a depth offensive lineman that could uh, return onto the practice squad. But my point being is I just listed 10 guys that could make this roster. Yes, sir, Durant was not in the top 10. So that is why he has been traded here. We'll see if LDT and Andrew Wiley are on this team one or both. I think they will be because I think Wiley – is valuable because he can play everywhere on the offensive line except for center. That's that's very valuable. He started over 30 games at guard. He can play right tackle if you need him to. You don't want him playing left tackle, but if he absolutely had to, he could. Uh, but the point being, he's a versatile player. LDT, if you could trade him, I, I wouldn't hate it because he, he's making four or five million bucks against the cap. Uh, you know, if you could get a six or seven, but 
in all reality, you're probably not going to be able to move him. So he'll probably be on the roster uh, at the end of the day. Uh, obviously, Mike Rimmer is going to make it as well. Uh, Nick Algretti is a good player. Uh, he's started some games. This offensive line's in good shape. Uh, do you trust the offensive line? Scale of 1 to 10. Uh, 10 being you trust it a ton. 1 being you don't trust it at all. Uh, get your votes in down in the comments on that one as well. I feel good about this offensive line. Uh, you know, Patrick Mahomes should feel great. He looked awesome in the final preseason game for the Kansas City Chiefs. So I think you should feel good if you're a Chiefs fan about where this offensive line sits. And I think Brett Veach just continues to show why he's one of the best GMs in the game. I mean, he's just always looking for how to make this team better. He's always looking for what roster moves he can make to get a draft pick for Yasser Durant. He wasn't making the team, guys. And, and that's not to say he's a bad player by any means. He's okay, but to get a pick for a guy that you're you're just going to cut anyway, that's that's good GM work. So uh, very, very interested to see what other roster moves could happen over the next couple of days because who knows? Uh, you, you still have seven or eight receivers. you got to cut one or two more uh, before cut-down day. I, I assume Gary Dieter's going to be cut. Um, you know, I know him and Mahomes are boys, but I, I don't think he's going to make the 53-man do you dare shop to Marcus Robinson, see if you can get a pick for him? I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but uh, expect over the next 24 hours for trades to be made across the NFL. We'll see if the Chiefs are involved in any more. But I promise you, if you subscribe uh, and they do make a trade, uh, we'll be breaking it down. I mean, we're breaking down a <laughs> offensive lineman getting traded for a seventh-round pick next year here at 11 o'clock on a uh, – on a uh, Monday night, because that's what we do here on the Chiefs Report. So Yasser Durant heading to the New England Patriots uh, for a seventh round pick uh, next year. Again, let us know uh, who you guys think won the trade. So a couple more guys on the roster bubble I want to talk about before we get to tomorrow. I think Marcus Kemp is safe at wide receiver. I think uh, Doris Fountain makes this team. You know, he's shown a lot. Uh, you know, he's safe over Cornell Powell, I believe. I think uh, I think Fountain makes the team. Um, you know, you, you look up and down the roster, and I have it uh, pulled up. Does Tim Ward make the roster? I think he's in much better position after, uh, uh, you know, Jamone Harris gets cut. Um, let's see here. Dorian O'Daniel, is he on this roster? I think so. Special teams value. Amari Cobb already got released. I think he was, you know, the one guy who maybe had a chance to push him. Uh, there's a rumor out there floating around that Willie Gay Jr. could have turf toe. I have not been able to confirm that, so we will see if anything uh, is uh, true coming out of that. But uh, the next, uh, you know, 12, 15 hours before roster cut down uh, deadline, Tuesday at 4 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Central, it's going to be very interesting because I told you guys a couple of days ago, the Chiefs are going to cut some good players. They're going to move some good players. Uh, yes, sir, Durant, it's valued. That's why the Patriots trade for him, because I assume he's going to be on their 53-man roster. So that's the news of the night. Yes, sir, Durant uh, to the Patriots for a seventh-round pick next year. Let me let me know in the comments if you like this style of video, us doing it at home. I get it, obviously. We don't have the you know the awesome graphics, the studio setup, the lighting, all that stuff. Uh, but I think there's something to, you know, just getting the news out to you guys, regardless of where we're at. So if you like it, let us know that you like it. If you don't like it, if you hate it, you know, type H that you hate it, whatever the case may be. Again, video tomorrow, 53-man roster will be set. Sure, some changes could come after uh, waivers the next day. Uh, so it may not be the final, final, final 53-man roster, but uh, uh, the rosters will be cut down fully from 80 to 53. I've been your host, Harrison Graham. We'll see you soon here on the Chiefs Report. And uh, hey, go Chiefs.